Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SMIT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation, makes summarizing the price action pretty straightforward. So if you say, Clay, look, summarize this for me quickly, I would say pump and dump. Now, I'm not saying pump and dump in the sense of this company is you know, shady and they're being run out of some bunker in North Korea. I'm just making that statement based solely on how the price has acted. And my definition of a pump and dump is that a price makes a really nice move and then within a relatively short amount of time, the price goes right back to where it all started. So let's kind of go through the definition here. And I wanna squeeze down the chart here just to offer a little bit more context. And I'm gonna mark this starting point as when it broke outside of these highs uh, right here at about $2.70. And these highs from were back in here, uh, November 28th. So that was kind of the, the previous range that it was in. And I guess I'm gonna have to rephrase, I'm not gonna call it a pump and dump, but I'm gonna call it a pump and dump on thin ice. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So let's go through the definition here. Price makes a really nice move. Well, as I just established, it started right there technically on the breakout and went all the way up there. I think we can agree that was a very nice move. And then the next part, within a relatively short amount of time. Well, considering this all happened in the same day, I'm hoping that we can uh, agree that this was indeed a, a short amount of time. Price goes back to where it started or in some cases lower. Now this is where the thin ice point comes into play because I gotta be fair to the bulls because technically speaking, something like this could happen. Price could come down to a thin ice point right there around 270, walk on that thin ice and start to work its way back upwards. And technically speaking, at that point in time, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have this set of lows down there. If you picture these as stair steps, then you would have progress being made in the upwards direction. Again, from the big picture perspective. So yeah, that's still a possibility. However, if the price comes down to this thin ice point, breaks down below it and then continues to separate, what would you have at that point in time? You would literally have the price right back inside of this range that it just broke out from. And not to insult your intelligence, but going back to where it all started, not exactly a sign of true strength. And that is, in my opinion, what would really seal the deal as far as being a pump and dump. So can I call it a straight up pump and dump? Can't say that because there is still that opportunity to build the higher base, but not much wiggle room left. And you definitely want to see the price stay above that $2.70 mark, which again, we'll call it our thin ice point. So we'll see how the price closes out the week tomorrow. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.